good day to everybody uh, today i am going to discuss about a, a very interesting uh, topic like uh, uh, the deadliest uh, disease of the era is cancer so today my topic of discussion is cancer cancer now uh, uh, generally uh, we know that it is a very deadly disease fatal disease and uh, we are generally scared of hearing this uh, the name of this disease cancer if uh, it is ha happened or occurred in our close relation anybody we are generally scaring of that also uh, so many doubts curiosity about this disease how it is happened what is the cause of the disease how can we prevent this disease this is always in our mind so uh, i uh, i am trying to uh, clarify these things uh, explain these things uh, to, uh, to go, go, going to uh, deep inside the matter so um, uh, try to listen uh, to my Uh, discussion so that it will be i hope that it will be helpful for everybody so what is cancer cancer is uh, it a fatal disease it is a genetic uh, you can tell this it is the genetic disease cancer is a genetic disease basically and uh, uh, it is uh, it was originated uh, very long ago uh, in uh, 3000 bc it was mentioned in the ancient egyptian text book on trauma surgery the cancer is uh, was mentioned there and in uh, 1775 uh, the british surgeon actually discovered the uh, uh, british surgeon uh, parkival pot in 1775 discovered the cause of cancer and we know that the cancer is a latin word the meaning of cancer is crab and one zodiac sign uh, is also uh, represented by this uh, sign cancer so it, it is a very mythological history about that the uh, how the cancer word was generated we are not going to this uh, part uh, deeply we are trying to focus on the uh, signs behind this particular fatal disease how can i how can we uh, the, the, keep the, uh, ourselves away from this disease i will uh, i shall talk about i shall discuss about this so cancer is basically a genetic disease uh, and genetic uh, there, there is a mutation in gene in our cell is caused cancer so actually in our every living cells there is a um, uh, uh, in you know living living cells there is a um, a program uh, program uh, mechanism which is called apoptosis it is a program cell death uh, mechanism actually every time we are generating cell in our body new cells in our body and uh, at the same time the old cell will be killed will be uh, destroyed and how, how this is destroyed this is called apoptosis the program uh, cell death mechanism in the cell it is very necessary if it is absent then there will be some type of tumor this can be the proliferation of cell abnormal growth of cell so the, there will be the problem of tumor so if this apoptosis will be absent due to mutation in the gene generally what happened uh, every adult human uh, loses 50 to 70 billion cells every day and every child Uh, the, the age of 8 to 14 years uh, age losses losses 
the uh, 20 to 30 billion uh, sales every um, uh, part day, every day. So you can imagine that the, the how many sales will be destroyed at, at the same time new sales will be originated and uh, uh, new sale will take the place of the uh, old destroyed sale. This is the uh, uh, normal uh, uh, mechanism of the cell inside our body. If there is any absence in, in any uh, problem in the program cell death mechanism like apoptosis, then there will be generation of um, tumor. So uh, this is the main thing about this. Now uh, this uh, uh, how can this um, thing will be happen? The mutation can be happen. You know that mutation can be happen, happen spontaneously and mutation can be happen uh, by the mutagen also. Several mutagen environmental factors are there. They will influence the, they will, uh, influence the change uh, mutation in the gene. So actually there, uh, there are two types of uh, mutation can be happen. One is directly attack the particular gene. Uh, which is called oncogene. Oncogene means the, the, the gene has the ability to produce the uh, cancer. This is called oncogene. And this oncogene uh, has, a, if there is a, any uh, mutation in this oncogene happen, then there will be the problem in the apoptosis and tumor suppressor gene. There is a tumor suppressor gene also. And there are so, um, um, uh, several genes are involved here uh, which can cause the mu uh, mutation in the gene and which can ultimately cause the cancer. So the, this is called oncogenes. And the, if, the, if there is any mutation in the oncogenes, then this uh, problem will be created. Now, um, um, what happened? Cancer means the uh, abnormal growth of cells due to the absence of apoptosis. Now, the, by uh, two different ways, the cancer can, uh, the gene mutation can be happen. One is directly attack the gene, particular oncogene, and one is the uh, can, uh, the changes in the mutation in the uh, oncogene. It will hamper the apoptosis process, and another is the. Uh, indirectly means uh, uh, when any uh, cell will be damaged there is a mechanism to repair it if this repair mechanism will be mutated then there will be change and there will be mutation and there will be cancer so by two ways one directly and one another is the indirectly the mutation of gene can be happened so you understand this and now um, uh, what is happened in the uh, actually tumor, all tumors are not uh, um, cancer. Well, any tumor in your body, can, I can, we cannot tell that it is cancer because um, by proper diagnosis it will be happen. Generally two types of tumor in our body uh, we have seen. One is the benign, benign tumor. Benign tumor means this is a non-malignant tumor. A another is the malignant, malignant or um, malignant or can cancerous tumor. So this is the two main uh, tumor. Benign tumor is a not a problem. You have to identify whether it is benign or by the doctors. They will diagnose the diagnosis, diagnose it you know, whether it is benign tumor or malignant tumor. In case of benign, benign tumor, this is all, uh, benign and tumor and malignant tumor, both are the proliferation of cell growth, proliferation of cell, uh, accumulation of uh, extra cell growth. But there is a, some difference between these two tumors. Because this tumor, benign tumors, uh, cells are very, uh, if you see uh, by biopsis experiment, by microscope, you can see the cell of the tumor 
you can see that this the cell of the benign tumor is the very regular and uh, smooth and in case of malignant um, cancer the cell will be very irregular and another thing is the benign tumor will not spread and will not invade the invade the surrounding tissues or organs but malignant cell do do this and uh, benign tumor when uh, benign tumor was fixed in its position it will not go to the other place um, but uh, malignant tumor can reach other places through blood and uh, lymph lymphatic uh, systems so uh, this is the uh, basic difference between the benign tumor and uh, malignant tumor uh, benign tumor will also happen due to the proliferation of cell growth uh, due to the mutation in the particular gene the tumor suppressor gene which is called um, tp53 and uh, the protein is a p53 which will target the uh, some uh, um, carcinogens they are protein produced by the oncogenes they will target the uh, thing this protein and if this protein will be disturbed then there will be tum tumor suppression gene will be disturbed and there will be the tumor will be formed there so both in both this case it will be happen but in this benign tumor case the mutation will be ha happen uh, two or three times and in the case of um, um, malignant tumors the th these things will be happen uh, more than uh, four times so uh, more uh, mutation will be required to become it malignant tumor and any benign tumor can be ultimately converted into malignant tumor so uh, there are two th types of cancer are generally are present here one is the uh, inherited cancer and another is the non inherited cancer inherited cancer what is the inherited cancer when any people acquire the mutation in the particular gene from their biological parents this is called inherited cancer a non inherited cancer means when any due to the environmental factors and other chemicals radiations like that uh, if there is any mutation happened in a particular cell this is called non inherited or sporadic cancer it is called non heretic or sporadic cancer in the non heretic sporadic cancer what happened only the uh, particular cell the mutation it will be particular cell the mutation will be happen so it will not disturb the your egg cell or sperm cell in case of heritated cancer the uh, mutation will be happened in the egg cell and sperm cell that's why it will be passed on to the next generation so cancer non inherited but which is called sporadic cancer in this case there will be no chance of pass on of the cancer disease from generation to generation it will be happened very suddenly and it will be due to the environmental factors because the here only the somatic cell or body cell will be affected by this inherited non inherited Uh, cancer so this is the main thing and uh, the, the second uh, i am giving some uh, statistics uh, data about this cancer uh, in in the worldwide the cancer is uh, spreading very uh, including india also sp uh, very harshly uh, very uh, quickly and uh, although the cancer treatment is nowadays very improved and uh, we can the hope of survival of from cancer any cancer disease and so many people are survived from the cancer this is happening very frequently but uh, at the same time the cancer cases will be increased now in the worldwide if we think the um, cancer rate in different countries uh, what happened in uh, rank wise if we give the rank country and uh, the cancer rate what happened it will be the rank in number 1 rank will be australia 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेयर कैंसर रेट इज द फोर इन सेकेंड रैंक न्यूजीलैंड द कैंसर रेट इज 438.1 इन आयरलैंड द कैंसर रेट इज 373.3 एंड फॉर हंगेरी फोर्थ पोजिशन हंगेरी द कैंसर रेट इज द 368.1 एंड इंडिया हैज द रैंक मोर मोर देन एव 50 and india's cancer rate is very low it is very encouraging factor 100.4 which is uh, as compared to the other cancer high cancer rate countries india's rate is very low although but now uh, although the, the cancer cases uh, has been increasing day by day in india also so we should not take it casually we should be very serious about that and we should abstain from the practices which will cause the cancer this is the main thing uh, if we avoid this uh, there are so many economical uh, downfall due to the uh, in the whole world due to this cancer disease now i'm coming to the this is the figure uh, i coming to the in uh, worldwide uh, every year 10 million cases of uh, cancer is the leading cause of death in worldwide nowadays and in, the, in the, the, every year 10 million cases of cancer death has been registered uh, means well, uh, one in means one in every six death there will be death due to cancer and uh, uh, this is very alarming situation and you know that there are several types of cancer and india also the cancer is growing ha huh? in india the um, ijol of mizoram has the maximum cancer rate among men which is the figure ijol in mizoram which is a figure of 269.4 whatever i am telling this figure this is actually indicates the cancer cases among 1 lakh people 1 lakh population this uh, this will be represented by this number and in ijol mizoram the cancer case among men is 269.4 among men and women among men women uh, papunpure papunpure district of arunachal pradesh has the highest number of cancer case which is 219.8 so in, in this uh, mizoram and arunachal arunachal pradesh in this uh, uh, northeast states the cancer rate is very high as compared to the average um, uh, national cancer, cancer rate of india a uh, national cancer rate of india is 100.4 i you know that and among this cancer uh, in bhatinda districts of uh, punjab uh, the cancer is spreading widely in bhatinda district of cancer due to the um, usage of pesticide the over usage of pesticide in agricultural practices and the concentration of uranium in water and the use of alcohol and uh, tobacco this is these are the main factors causing the high cancer rate in this region bhatinda district of punjab so we should be careful about that we should keep uh, ourselves away from these practices uh, tobacco chewing or uh, alcohol consumption we have to reduce these practices and we should not be exposed to the chemicals like uh, uranium arsenic like that this type of uranium radioactive element we should not be exposed himself uh, during our work or anything we should not be exposed to and we should do the chemi of the industry should be very careful about that they are wastage disposal matter this type of radioactive element should not be uh, disposed in the uh, water body of the city or any uh, place so this will be very we, we have to be take care of that because these are very uh, potential car carcinogens 
we should not be expose ourselves to the uh, any radiation like uv radiation so they, they, this will cause the skin cancer actually tobacco chewing is cause the cancer of in mouth or uh, your lungs or bronchitis cancer and alcohol consumption will cause the liver cancer kidney uh, liver cancer and um, this is these are the main cancer that happen during the uh, actually we are exposed to these things very uh, drastically so that this problem will be uh, growing day by day so we have to be careful about that and when we are discussing about this uh, generally uh, most common cancer in the world is the uh, breast cancer. Breast cancer is the most wide. It is representing the 12.5% of the whole cancer cases in worldwide. And then comes uh, lung cancer. Lung cancer is the 12.2% of the whole cancer cases. And then uh, uh, colorectal cancer means uh, colon and rectum cancer is representing the third one uh, highest uh, percentage of cancer cases due to this disease 10.7 percent so these are the most uh, uh, common cancer breast cancer uh, two point uh, generally 2.26 uh, million cases of cancer registered due to the breast cancer in 2020 and most deaths happen due to the lung cancer, 1.80 million cases of deaths registered in 2020. Actually, this data, uh, all are the, so the source of this data are who the, 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 the means World Health Organization. Now, uh, this is the cases I have told. Now, there are uh, four types of cancer generally present. Uh, generally happened in our body cancer is due to the mutation in the gene it is the clear it may be uh, acquired from the uh, parents by genetic uh, mutation and it can be happened suddenly due to the exposure to the some environmental cases like some chemicals from radiations like that and um, in this case i try to uh, tell one thing about the virus cancer uh, due to the viral infection cancer will be due to uh, happen due to the viral infection there are some viral infection happened in the human being one is the human papilloma virus human papilloma virus another is the uh, uh, hepatitis virus Hepatitis virus. Uh, another is the HIV virus. These are the viral infection generally uh, happen uh, to cause the cancer. How this will be happen? Generally, viral will uh, invade the cell of our body host cells body and they will lyse the cells of the body due to this infection but sometimes what happened uh, this uh, the dna present in the viral uh, cell will be integrated into the human genome cell and that's why there will be uh, causing is this called lysogenic cycle of viral and when it will be lyse the cell of the host cell it will call lytic cycle so when the lysogenic cycle will be happen, I have told uh, earlier that that time there will be possibility of mutation in the gene and cause the, um, uh, uh, cause the cancer. And another bacterial infection also cause the cancer which is called helicobacter pylori. This, bac this bacteria is called uh, cause the infection, bacterial infection will cause the cancer in human body so there are these are human viral infection now nowadays we, we, 
we are given uh, we are generally given at the um, um, child childhood uh, in the childhood we are generally given the baby will be um, uh, injected with this given the hepatitis virus um, uh, uh, vaccine to protect from this disease to uh, reduce the chances of happening of cancer in the uh, uh, advanced ages and another thing is the cancer causes is the uh, generally uh, another cause is cancer is the uh, overweight if you uh, and lack of physical activity overweight means obesity can cause cancer and aging generally cancer has it is it has been observed that cancer is generally happened in old age people uh, after 60 65 years the cancer will be happened because our body will not uh, very active at, at that time uh, our cells of the body are not active at that time and they, at that time the mutation can be happened and the cancer can be happened so this is all about the um, uh, idea outer idea of cancer i am giving and what is the cause of cancer i have given i uh, the, this is enough for this uh, for today and next time in this video i will discuss about these things more elaborately thank you